big small mouth or large mouth. I can't tell what it is. It's big though. Oh my god, eat it, eat it. He's got it. Oh, it's a stud. It's a stud. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So today is the seventh day of the 30 day fishing challenge and I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different because I've been targeting largemouth bass every day this week. So today we're still bass fishing, but we're gonna be looking for smallmouth. So I'm at a spot that my friend Scylla brought me a couple times, we've been here twice. She's had multiple 50, 60, 70 fish days out here and that's why I'm out. I really wanna just get into some smallmouth, have a good time. It's not something that I really do too often. So I'm out here on the Maverick, I've got a couple rods. Hopefully we can get into some smallmouth today. The water is definitely high. Normally you can walk out onto this cement dock, so the water is definitely up higher than I've ever seen it, and it's definitely dirty. So normally it's gin clear. Uh, it's definitely got a stain though. So I don't know how that's gonna affect the smallmouth fishing, but hopefully we can get into a few. Real quick, for you guys who haven't seen the shirt yet, I'm selling these through July. It's called the 30 Day Fishing Shirt. If any of you purchase one of these, it's going straight to me and it's going straight back into this channel so I can continue to make as much content as possible. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description below if you're interested in buying one of these shirts. Thank you all so very much for those of you who have purchased these. I think they look pretty sweet. Okay, so we're loaded up, ready to go. And really quickly, I just wanna show you guys, Ant what I'm working with. So I've got a whopper plopper tied on, a drop shot with a plasma tail, just a June bug with a chartreuse tail. It should work really well in this dirty water. And then I brought another rod just in case I need to use it. There's a Texas rig on there. I think that might be a little bit too big, but we'll see. So I'm gonna push off, hopefully go get on some smallies. This is just like a little side creek that gets out to the main river. So I'm really hoping but this is just the dirtier part. I hope the main river is a little bit cleaner. Yeah, look at this mud line. You can see the difference in color here. So cool. Like way cleaner out here. Way cleaner. Look at that. Look at the difference. That's solid. That's what we wanted. It's crazy to see this difference in color of water right here. It's like chocolate milk on the left and it's completely clear on the right. All just coming out of that creek where I launched. Had a couple strikes and follows on that whopper plopper but not to where I feel confident like they really want to eat it. I don't know why. The smallmouth were like chasing it super aggressively but they just didn't want to go in for the kill. All right Ned Rig, come on. Let's see what you got. Show me what you're working with. There we go. Oh, it's a giant. Watch out, guys. It's a giant. Thought it was a tiny smallie. There we go. That's a bass. Oh, yeah. It's a largie. What are you doing? I like you, but I'm looking for your cut. Ah. Okay, well, he got me pretty good there. I'm looking for your cousin. Tell your cousin to come eat. What do we got, what do we got? I don't even know what that is. Oh, here we go, another sunfish. Long-eared sunfish, right? Cornell, what it, ah. I can't hold fish. I don't know what it is. There we go. I saw him eat that. That was pretty cool. 
Number two. Little guy. Pretty sweet though. I'm just kind of going down with the current right now. We're actually back up because I'm in an eddy. It's circling around. Fishing pretty shallow with the Ned Rig and just watching these cool little bass come up and eat. Pretty sweet. But I want a smallie. Where are the smallies? Basically, he ate it on the initial cast and missed him. And then he circled around and kind of was sitting face into the current. And then I let the Ned Rig just flow down in front of his face. And when it got close enough in that zone, he came up and ate it. So if that tells us anything, I guess it's that they're not being super aggressive. Because it was only like two feet away from him. If he wanted it, he would have come up and eaten it. He didn't eat it till it was two inches from his face. There we go. Oh, that's a smallie. <laughs> Look how hard this little guy's fighting. He's pulling me around. Smallie! That's what we were looking for. Look how chunky that little guy is. Awesome. First cast back here. Oh, there's a big one too. I'll take it. This little creek. Normally you can't get in, but the water's high. So maybe they're back in here. There you go. Chunky little smallie. See you, bud. Try the whopper plopper back here, make some noise. All right guys, well this is the end of the line for me. I guess I could probably paddle through that, but I don't know if it's worth it. I haven't really seen any fish back here too far. The mouth seemed to have a little bit of action going though, so that was kind of cool. We're gonna go back there and see if we can get a couple more. There we go. Oh, largey. Biggest fish of the day. All right. Probably a little pounder. Pretty sick though. We'll take it. Ned Rig. These fish love it. God, look at the size of this dude. <laughs> That's a big one. It's my PB. Is that a piranha? Just kidding. There we go. Oh baby. Oh, what is it? Largey. They're just sitting right on this point between the current break, that clean water and dirty water. Is that fish number four? Look at it coming in. It's nuts. Got him. <laughs> Five. There's a bunch of large mouths just chilling right here. So cool. The view's pretty nice up here. You can actually see a little bit. I just paddled up from the bridge, which is way down yonder. I'm just gonna let the current pull me back. I'm just gonna cast into the current and let this Ned Rig just do its thing, pull it down. Maybe we'll run into a couple more fish. It's probably gonna be my last drift for the day. I'm gonna get home, get some editing done, and figure out what I'm gonna do tomorrow. But it's been a really fun day so far. Oh, oh, come on, eat it, eat it. Eat it, come on, come on. There he is. There we go. <laughs> that was sick. That fish came all the way from the bank. Oh yeah. Here we go guys. Second smallie of the day. This fish came all the way from the bank. I saw him just charge at the Ned Rig when it hit the water. And then he kind of looked at it, looked away, and I started reeling it really fast because I thought he ate it. Set the hook and it just triggered him to come eat again. But look how pretty that fish is. I don't catch smallmouth often so it's always a nice little treat. But let him go. That was sick. There we go. 
that's fish number seven. Another pretty little smallie. They got so much power for how small they are, it's awesome. Pretty sweet. So yeah. Or large mouth, I can't tell what it is. It's big though. Oh my god, eat it, eat it. He's got it. Oh, it's a stud! It's a stud! <laughs> yes! Come on, pull me up, Kurt! <laughs> nice. That is a stud right there, boys. That's a big fish. I'm gonna get stuck in the tree. Oh god, that was so cool. Stay down. Oh my god, that is a freaking donkey. Yes, that's like a five pounder at least. Hell yeah, that was so cool. That was epic. That's a giant. That might even be six. I don't have a scale with me. He's so big. Check that out. This is like easily a five and a half, close to six pound bass. That was so sick. I saw him swimming up into the current and I just pitched my Ned rig in front of him. Boom, hammered it. Awesome fight. That was so fun. So cool from the kayak. Biggest fish I've ever caught on the kayak for sure. It's just a stud. That's probably close to six. He doesn't even fit in the freaking frame. It's made the day very well worth it. Got some small mouth, some large mouth. Look at that donkey. That was sick. All right, I'm gonna let her go. Hopefully find a couple more. That's a big fish. Definitely was not expecting to catch anything that big. I wish I had my scale with me, but that was probably pushing six. It was just so freaking big. Huge shoulders, huge belly, and it was super heavy too. Eating bricks. There we go. <laughs> All right, come here, buddy. Fish number nine. A little bit smaller than the last one. Not by much, but still a good fish. So yeah, seriously like not expecting to catch a fish that big out here. Oh, another one. What do we got? Oh, oh my God, that was a big smallie. That was so cool. Did you see that flip? That was sick. Let's see if there's anything on the point. What do we got? What do we got? Largey. It's fish number 10. Right up there where he's supposed to be. So cool. There we go. Another largey. Fish ate the scrounger with the fluke on it. Last fish of the day. Probably. All right, my friends. That's gonna be it. Day number seven is done, and I'd say that was a pretty epic day. I mean, I was definitely not expecting to catch a fish that big out here. I know the Shenandoah River has some big bass in it, but I've personally never seen one that big. I'm pretty stoked on it. I thought it was a really great day. It was really, really cool being out there on the paddleboard. I don't know, it's just different. I could definitely take my John boat out here if I wanted to, but I don't know if I ever would. For any of you guys that are interested in the Vibe Maverick, I'm going to leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. It's a really sick rig. I mean, for stuff like this, it's insanely perfect. 
Like, I cannot wait to get back out here and do it again. Honestly, I didn't even want to get off the water today, but I need to go home and edit, get some other stuff done. We're back up. 74% of views are from people that are unsubscribed. So you, you, talking to you, my friend, if you are watching this video and you're not subscribed to this channel, please do me the favor and just to keep up with the action, especially of the 30 day fishing challenge, go ahead and click that subscribe button. We're doing stuff like this every single day for the rest of July. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think that about wraps it up. Time to go home and I'll see you tomorrow.